take two. Uh, Kyle here from All Media Reviews, here to do a calendar, new release music, new release album uh, calendar uh, update. Um, I'm going to do uh, anniversaries, milestone anniversaries for April, probably in the next few days will be coming up. It should be up hopefully by Monday, April 1st, if not earlier. But um, So looking at the calendar, I haven't done one of these in maybe a month, month and a half. I can't remember when the last one I did was. It was, it was, um, it was a while ago. I mean, I, I remember it was when those, like, the stuff came out at the end of February, early, like the first week of March. There was a whole bunch. I might have done, I might have done one then. I'm just looking at here. Let's see. The last one was done calendar yeah it was yeah it was a while ago it was at least a month ago so i mean that's trying to number i've done three of them it was here it is on new number three so this is the fourth one that it doesn't have the date here but anyway all right, so coming up this week, there's not a lot that I can tell. On March 29th, Friday, Mar Cheryl Crow's Evolution, which does, I think is as a bonus track, includes her cover of, uh, with Peter Gabriel, uh, Digging in the Dirt, Peter Gabriel Digging in the Dirt, which is actually pretty good. I really like like that cover. Um, so but the record, I don't know, That's the jury's out. I know she at one time stopped doing albums and was just releasing singles. But that obviously something has changed, maybe with the Rock Hall stuff. I don't know, that documentary. So the week after that, April 5th, there's one record I'm excited about, and I actually pre-ordered the vinyl and should be getting the the, the download uh, that day. April 5th. Is that really on a Friday, though? Maybe it is. I'm, I'm doing the math wrong here. April 5th is... Yeah, it is. Okay, so April 5th. <laughs> uh, Solemn from In Vain. Uh, progressive, black, and death metal, you know. Great band. I mean, every record I, they've done I've liked. More, some more. The Currents was the last record, so it's been... That was 2018, I think. 2017 or 2018, so... been six years, maybe, since their last record. But the, the singles are good. The first song, I've only listened to them all, like, once. So I'm prepared to, like, really get more into this, and maybe I'll even do a review. Um, then the week after that, on the 11th, which, again, that would be the 12th on Friday, the 11th. Ben Sister, their first full length since 2018. Uh, their album, um, it's funny, I should know these years by the better. Mostly Great Things, which, I mean, it, I'm really excited for it. I don't think I've seen it pre-ordered. I did a pre-save. But um, I'm a Ben Sinister fanboy, so I have my bias. But of all the songs, it's like only four of the songs I haven't heard think even yeah but a lot of the singles they released over the last nine months uh, which are all good so great uh, expectations for that Ben Sinister album I'm hoping more people talk about it um because uh, they've you know they've been a band that had a little momentum and then they just kind of get forgotten about and maybe this is the one finally I don't know I from Vancouver British Columbia of course um progressive power pop uh power pop rock uh, then on the 19th, Local Native just announced uh, their new album coming out, But I'll Wait For You, with the first single I listened to as a video for it. It very much, the song, when I, I heard it, and the, even the, based on the title, um, seems like basically a carryover from their record from 2023. Um, uh, Time Will Wait For No One, I believe it was called. And yeah, I mean, it's not that uncommon that a band will... Be working on a new album and they'll have so many songs they all they can't put all the songs that they writ wrote and even recorded um on their records so they save them for something else uh, they're good songs they just don't fit or they're not finished the time they want to get the record whatever um so i i get the sense that this record very likely is going to be a carryover from it's going to be similar resemble their last record from last year time away from no one which in the in their whole canon is not not one of my not high on, as high on I wasn't as into that record I should go back to it again um, it has some moments it's a little lighter to me but I don't know we'll see so that's on April 19th um, so I've talked about it one, one a couple of times probably previously but Matt Page from Dream the Electric Sleeps its solo album Apocalypse Garden comes out on May 3rd he released another single it's like two or three singles he was talking about how it's the new this this differentiates from this differs from Dream the Electric Sleep because the songs are more poppy. The newest single 
is more poppy than the one or two that he'd released previously. So I'm looking forward to this. I mean, you know, I had mixed feelings. I liked the record from last year, Dream the Electric Suit put out, but I wasn't um, American Mystic. I wasn't obsessed with it. I'm wondering, maybe I may even have more interest in this. I don't know. We'll see. So that's on the 3rd of May. Then on the 23rd of May, Azure, British, you could call them a progressive metal band of sorts, but they're really more quirky and um, art rock. You know, they're, they're an empire band to some degree, but they get rather technical at times. They also are kind of popular with people that like um, uh, Kairos. So I, I don't know. But their album is called FYM. Really cool looking artwork they put on Instagram like yesterday, the day before, earlier this week. So um, the 23rd of May, Azure puts out FYM. Uh, here's a record that I, I have a band that I've, I know people love. Free Kitchen, Everyone Gets Bloody. I don't know when it got announced, but that comes out on the 24th of May, the day after that. And Lenny Kravitz's album, Blue Electric Light, just got moved back. It was supposed to be late March, like the same day as the Cheryl Crow or the week, week before, like last week. But it got put got pushed back till May 24th. He's been showing up on some talk shows like um, Sherry Shepard and uh, promoting it a little bit. But yeah, it comes out, been pushed back to May 24th. So that week there's three records at this point. There's stuff probably still get announced that maybe check out. Free Kitchen's a band that I know people like. Sort of avant-garde prog metal. That's the best way to describe them. But So then Marjana Samkina, the... Um, the uh, singer for uh, Dream or uh, I Am the Morning from Russia um, has a, another solo album called Siren. I've never got around to listening to her first one, but she did a Kickstarter for it. And I don't know if the Kickstarter people are going to get it earlier than that. The, the, the physical copies are coming out in the fall, but the, the digital is coming out on May 31st. It was just announced. She's got like red eyes like <laughs> on it and everything. It's kind of you know, like gothic or kind of very period based, but anyway. May 31st, Marjana Simkina's Siren, S-I-R-I-N. So then in June, the Crooked Fiddle Band, I've talked about a couple different times over the last few months, last whatever, I just mentioned them. A band that I think I probably need to give more mention. I even think I have one of their CDs. Um, but it's been a few, like Ben Sinister, um, or um, like Ben Sinister... Was the other one I was thinking of. It's been several years since they um, did anything. They're kind of like a gypsy folk prog band. They were called a, pro, a frog folk, F, fra, F prog, F prog band. Um, but they use a lot of like kind of chamber instrumentation. The album's coming out on June 7th from the Crooked Fiddle Band called The Free Wild Wind and the Songs of Birds. And the first single just got put up. It's really cool, really good. It's all instrumental. Deadly Night Snakes. I do believe they have vocals at points from my memory of their music. They have some vocals, but um, it's the instrumentation that probably they feature most. They kind of fit with the chamber rock thing that, you know, the bands like Typhoon, The Deer Hunter, um, Polyphonic Spree, you know, and Anathel. That kind of, they're in that vein. They're from, um, I think it's Australia. But the Crooked Fiddle Band, the Free Wild Wind, and the Songs of Birds uh, coming out on June 7th. Like I said, the first single, Deadly Light Snakes, is up to check out. It's really good. So then the week after that, June 14th, the Decemberists have announced a new record, As It Ever Was, So It Will Be Again. And it was announced, I want to say, like, could have been a, more than a month ago. Um, and the Decemberists band that I have some of the records, here somewhere, um, maybe over here. And I really lean toward like a lot of the prog fans, the stuff from the 2000s. The last decade and change haven't been that into it. I mean, they're not bad, but it's just the music they've done has just been more, been more folk, more like folk music. Yeah, folk and, um, but they were doing progressive stuff in the 2000s. Stuff like the Crane Wife and the Tane. And picaresque, even and you know the hazard of love, you know her majesty. All, all those records, almost all those records had some l level of prog on them. So they put out the first single. I didn't get that much of a great impression from. It wasn't bad, but it was like it's just like a pop track. But then they put out last week. It was yeah, a 19 minute piece called Joan in the Garden, which has some lulls. It's 19 minutes, but the best moments on it are a return to their prog direction they were doing with. Like the Hazards of Love and especially Picker, uh, 
the crane wife you know it, it it's got two or three moments some of it's sort of space rock or almost post rocky um but it's a, it's got nine it's 19 minutes long this track joan in the garden but its best moments really kind of got me a little more energized they're coming here in may before the record comes out june 14th <coughs> but i don't know if i'm gonna end up going to see them um they're I can't even get a seat, you know, so, me with a back problem, so. Anyway, June 14th, December is as it ever was, so it will be again. We'll see. It's a little bit of a sleeper, given the fact that that new track they, they released really got more of my attention. Um, the June 21st, Alceste released Le Chant de l'Aurore, or I can't remember. It's, it's French, you know. I know they've changed. I know, you know, heavy debriefings, Josh. He's been, he's he's a big fan. I've got one of the records. I saw them with Anathema years ago. It's, you know, Metal Gaze, you know, like heavy, you know, post-rock. It's, it's like heavy post-metal, Metal Gaze. I don't know. I know they've kind of changed and they're, they're, the style of their, of their more recent music hasn't, isn't as much in that vein as their earlier stuff, which more atmospheric, but... Um, I might check it out. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure people are going to be interested. So the week after, that's on June 21st, the day after my birthday, which Joe Jackson's going to be there, be in town here around that time. May get, see, I'm still contemplating trying to go. Tip, tickets are not cheap, unfortunately. Um, the Warning finally confirmed their new album, Keep Me Fed. Uh, it's coming out on June 28th. So they've put out two singles already. Uh, back in was it early Mar like March fifth or something like a few like three or four weeks ago it seems like it was longer ago, but then another single comes out um, on Friday April fifth so a week from Friday called Automatic Sun which there's a trailer for that on Instagram it's very synthy like synth pop so I think this album's gonna be quite diverse but not necessarily for the, for a bad you know for good reason it seems like the songs are still gonna be there so. Um, June 28th, The Warning, Keep Me Fed. Looking forward to that new single coming up a week from Friday. Um, uh, Automatic Sun. So, Pat Metheny's Moon Dial. Not Pat Metheny Group, it's just Pat Metheny. On, on July 26th was announced. I, given my experience with Pat Metheny versus Pat Metheny Group, I can't even promise I'm going to listen to it. But it's notable since I do love a lot of Pat Metheny's music and the, the Pat Metheny Group stuff especially. But July 26th, Pat Metheny's Moon Dial. And then Dark Tranquility's End Time Signals. They're another band that, while well, they, like Alcest, they release, release many albums. I just don't keep up with them, but I like a few of their records. Well, uh, Fiction, specifically, from 2007 is the one I always i have gone to. But, I, you know, it's kind of mood. It's melodic death metal, and they, they do melodic death metal really well, but I don't know how varied it is. So. so, just to go over what else is sort of coming up to be announced, has been given some information... We don't know about John Anderson's Song of Xamarin, although he's doing a tour with Return of ELP this summer with the Band Geeks, uh, Son of Elias, but I don't know. Maybe we'll find out by the time that tour happens or at the tour or, you know, before the tour. Baroque Project. Um, Italian, I believe. Yeah, Italian sort of uh, symphonic prog band, but they have some modern sounding. They have an album called Time Voyager, and it's coming out at some point. It this year the first single is up it's going to be soon probably this this summer if not earlier it hasn't been announced it's called the lost ships of the lost ship taverns is the first single there's a brock project b-a-r-o-c-k uh topic channel on youtube that has that single it's been out for about 10 days it's pretty good although the symbols i feel like the symbols clip a little bit but i'm you know i'm liking it so i'm curious i'm the last record I wasn't as into, it's been, like Ben Sinister and some of the other bands, they've, it's been since like the late 2000s and they released an album. The one before the last one, the two albums ago, was the one that I really got into, um, which I'm spacing on the title right now. But, um, but Barack Project, Time Voyager. Um, some stuff, I mean, I've, see, I mentioned The Kind City, This, which I've already listened to. I got it the, after the um, Sleep Time Grill Museum show, local art rock um, album, but the actual release date still hasn't been announced. Um, Pepe Deluxe's Comic Sonics um, is coming this summer. They released an instrumental version of one of their other songs called um, Earth Boys Are Easy. But it's all that version is being used in a commercial for Ikea, of all places. I think that Pepe Deluxe, it's like they get the, these big exposures 
but they don't blow up. Like, they kind of blew up with when I first got into them in 2012, but I always think that they could be so much bigger and more popular than they are. But then again, it's like, when some people do check them out, they think they're a little unusual and a little too esoteric. I don't know, they're like, they, they combine too many genres or something. I don't know. But, you know, again, their their music's being used in a commercial. I mean, Capital Cities was. How big did Capital Cities get after that for the use safe and sound? So, uh, but yeah, Comic Sonics. C-O-M-I-X space S-O-N-I-X. It's coming out this summer. Um, I'm fanboy, so I'm super excited about that. But um, the new song is fun. There's a different version that's not instrumental of Earth Boys Are Easy that's supposedly coming too. So, um... There's a couple of titles. I mean, The House That Time Forgot by Brian Scary. I'm hoping we'll, we'll get information at some point. He's got two records, though. That's one of them. Uh, More on Police's Pachinko. They put out some, like, anniversary photos recently. But um, that album at some point. Motivational Speaker from Paul Meany. Janet Jackson's Black Diamond. I don't I've seen anything about that. Falling Up's Falling Up Presents The Chilling Alpine Adventure. That probably will come out. It's just we get, we get very sporadic updates from them. Um... Then Childish Japes are going to be putting out a new album. Their album from last year was titled Matters of Life and Death Part 1. So would it be Matters of Life and Death Part 2? There's a new single from them coming out on April 5th. So there's three new singles coming April 5th. Childish Japes, um, The Warnings, Automatic Sun, and um, one other one. There's one other one that's coming on, or something else coming on April. I'm thinking of In Vain Solemn. Anyway, April, a week from Friday, there's a bunch of stuff that's going to show up. Um, but as far as, you know, as Childish Japes, yeah, I mean, the new single's coming out April 5th. The thing is, the record from 2023, The Matters of Life and Death Part 1, or what was going to be, initially they were putting out singles that it's going to be a double album. So that, you know, just like, uh, Local Natives, they recorded probably all the music that's going to be on this album already. Uh, I mean, last year, I just didn't release it with that record, so. Will it's going to be part, will it be part two? I don't know, but. I'm not surprised a new album, and I'm guessing it's from the same session. It's with Joanna Teeters, the singer on the record from 2023. Um, I mean, we have other stuff, like Dirty Loops, Runaway. They had that single, Runaway. That I would think Dirty Loops would be hearing about something at some point. Um, Cloud Cult keep on posting stuff about their their Patreon and the new album. The new album's coming. It's just a matter of we just they got to make their announcement, of course. Um, Capital Cities, Crimson Glory... Dream Theater, of course, Mike Portnoy has been posting lots of studio photos. He was just on Cruise to the Edge, but, you know, with... The album is probably going to come out this year. It might be a fall release, but... Um, or even the early next year, if not this year. It's, it's going to be soon, uh, for sure. Whether there's advanced singles, I don't know. Um, you know, there's just some other stuff... I mean, you know, some other stuff that we haven't really heard about that that's probably going to come out. Subterrain Masquerade, they've been active on Bandcamp. There's something called Terminal 3, which is a Minnesota band, which includes Greg Harrigas. They're going to put out a new record. So I'm, as a local Minnesota, you know, progressive rock fan, I'm looking forward to that, at least to be paying attention to that. So, um, yeah, there's just a lot of other names on this list, of course, that we're, that I either haven't read or, you know, that, that will show up and stuff that I don't know about, of course, that, um, but, that's about it for the next this calendar update. What else am I missing? What on this calendar update are you looking forward to? Um, and um, yeah, I mean, there's again, there's stuff that um, you know, the new Dredge album. Of course, there have been lots of posts about him. You know, but th th this year's been. I'm gonna. I should mention though that I I will try to do a first quarter rankings, uh, which has been pretty good as overall. There've been first quarters of years that have been lighter or had less to sort of appreciate so um i don't know if i'll we'll be able to do the the round table stuff the timing will work the schedule will work out but uh for, for sure i'll try to do, I'll do at least my own first quarter top maybe top 10 or something like that probably include eps i keep on forgetting about the toe hider eps so but thank you for watching and we'll see you next time one more thing to add I guess I just found out Pepe Deluxe's uh, comic song is coming out June 21st, 2024, the same day as Alcest, um Just found this out. Uh, Alcest's album, um, La Chant de la Arrere, uh, the day, the, the week before the warnings keep me fed and the week after the summer as it, as it ever was, so it will be again. So, yeah, it just was announced, I don't know, in the last day or two or last week. I found a website. It's... Um, 
called forcefieldpr.com. It's got a whole large write-up with the cover art and the track list and everything. It says June 21st, 2024, Pepe Deluxe will release Comic Sonic. So anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.